Consent forms, I think, are quite a tricky issue. I do use a consent form, but I didn't when I started. Uh, at that time, it wasn't yet a standard procedure. And there might still be some circumstances in which I wouldn't use a consent form. You know, if you're doing some sorts of participant observation work, there's lots of people coming and going. You can't realistically use a consent form. Also, some people find a consent form really intimidating. They don't, they, it's very off-putting. Um, I would always give people a written description and a verbal description and I would get their permission verbally and I would ask them to sign a consent form usually. But um, that consent form, if you want to archive the data, has to explain um, that it's going to be archived and how that maybe could then be used. And it's, but not everybody knows what an archive is, and so it's really important to try and use very clear language about these things. Um, that's not that is you know an honest description, but isn't an off unnecessarily off-putting description. Doesn't make it sound like you're going to become you know a, an object um, that everybody's pointing to in some way.